Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create and access an FTP server in Windows 11. This video is divided into three sections. One, configure the server. Two, configure the client. And three, configure the firewall to access the server from outside our network. So let's begin with the first. On the Windows 11, right-click Network properties select change adapter settings on the keyboard tap the alt key for more options here go to file new incoming connection here check mark the user that will be connected via VPN if you don't have one you can always add someone but make sure that that someone has a password. Once done, click on Next. How will people connect? Checkmark throughout the internet. Here, leave everything default and allow access. Once done, it'll give you the computer name. Now press the Windows key plus R to open the run window and here type CMD like you see it here. Hit enter and it'll open the command prompt. Now type ipconfig and hit enter. This will give you the IP address and the gateway of the server. Now our Windows 11 VPN server is properly configured. Now we're ready to move to step two. What we're going to do is configure the client within our network LAN. That way, if we don't have any problems, we can configure the client from the WAN outside of our network. So let's configure our LAN client. Right click on Network, Properties. Here, click on Set up a new connection or network. Connect to a workplace. Set up a dial-up or VPN. Use my internet connection, VPN. And here type the IP address of the server. In this case, it's 192.168.1.194. Everything else stays default and click on Create. If we click on Change Adapter Settings, we should be able to see our VPN connection. In the past, all we needed to do is just double click on that VPN connection and it'll ask us for our username and password. But because my client is using a Windows 11, it's a little bit different than before. Now we need to right click Start and click on Settings. Or you can just click on Start and search for VPN. In the settings, go to Network and Internet. To the right, select VPN. And then to the right of VPN connection, select Connect. Here, enter the VPN username and password and click on OK. Done. It's connected. So we didn't encounter any issues. That's good. If I go back to the server, you'll notice that Mike is connected. Awesome. So what I'm going to do now is disconnect Mike and then um, go to step three, which is configure the firewall to allow users to connect from outside our network to our VPN server. I'm using AT&T as my firewall router. In my case, I need to click on firewall, NAT and or gaming, and then look for point to point tunneling protocol, PPTP. And then the needed device in my case is the virtual PC, which was the name that it was given to us at the very beginning when we created the um, VPN. Click on add. Now, in your case, if, it, if it's not the same, you can always create it manually. 
just like you see it here service pptp port 1723 and the device name or the ip address of the server and then save settings now we need the wan ip address we have few choices you can google what is my one ip address or while you're already in the router just look for it in this case is broadband in my case the one ip address is to the right of broadband ip4 address that's it so make a note of that uh, of your one ip address and then reconfigure the client so on the client PC, instead of using the LAN IP, like we, the 192, now we're going to create a new one. So right click network, properties, again, the same process, set up a new connection or network, connect to a workplace, set up a dial up or VPN, use my internet connection VPN and here enter the WAN IP address, not the LAN. Click on create. And let's make sure it's there. Again, there it is. Now, right click, start, settings. Remember, I'm using Windows 11 as my client. Network and internet, VPN to the right of VPN connection, connect, and again, use the VPN username and password, but this time using the one IP address, if you notice here, ending in 71, and I'm connected. It didn't give us any problems. I'll, again, I'll go back to the server and Mike is connected. Now in the future, in case you get errors because you followed the the steps just like you saw in the video and it gives you error connecting to it all you need to do is right click on the incoming connection on the server properties go to networking tab make sure internet protocol tcp4 is selected and here select specify an ip address and manually add a range of ip addresses i'll show you what i mean if you open the command prompt here again, IP config, notice that my IP address is end in 194. So instead of going under, go over, for example, 192.168.1.150, 192.168.1.160, it'll give us 11 IP addresses to use for my VPN. Always try to go over because if you go under, those IP address might be used that is that simple thank you for watching this video my name is miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you